This week in your weekly upgrade, we go from host to co-host in Google Meets. We show you how to get notified Gmail style for all your YouTube needs. And finally, the secret password is self-serve password reset. I'm Jordan R and this is your weekly upgrade. Have you ever found hosting something by yourself can be overwhelming sometimes and you just need a co-host to help you out? Hi, I'm your new co-host. Well, now you can. Google Meet has finally given that ability to allow co-host controls to staff who have the Google Education Plus accounts. Let me show you how to set it up. First, have your Meet open with your other teachers, then select the people icon. Then select the three dots beside their name and then choose Grant host controls. Now that person has access to mute and unmute participants, create breakout rooms, and basically have all the controls a host would have. Just some key things to remember about co-hosting. At the moment, you cannot assign co-host on Google Calendar. You can, however, assign a co-host to a student in your Meet, where the student would have access to everything a host would have. So just be mindful of which selected persons yield such wonderful power. And remember, you remain the co-host even if you leave the meet and come back. Now you got the power. I've got the power. Use it wisely. See you later. Because we've changed our system to give you a weekly upgrade every other week, we thought it would be important, if you choose, to be able to get an email notification for any new content added. To have this convenience right beside the subscribe button, make sure if you haven't done so already to hit that button first, select the little bell beside. Having that highlighted or shaded in like this, you will now be able to receive an email for any new content. To double check your settings, while in Chrome and on YouTube, select your icon at the top right, then select settings, and then select notifications on the left, and you'll have the ability to select which notifications you deem necessary within YouTube. Make any changes and it will automatically save and you're all set. We have seen a lot of password changes in the past few weeks with school startup, completing training modules in eBase, and maybe even losing your password on that post-it note that has collected dust during the summer. We have recently upgraded the self-serve password reset tool in the staff portal, which allows you to change your password from home, school, or any other location that has internet. Does space have internet? To take advantage of the ability to change your password at any time, even if you've forgotten it, you'll need to register for this service. Take note, you'll need to register even if you've used previous versions of this tool in the past. To begin, you'll need to choose your personal verification options, like entering your cell phone number or putting in your own personal email address. Once set up, you can easily reset your password anytime using a verification code sent to your phone or personal email to get back into your account. So where can you find the password reset tool and be encouraged to do so at the same time? Well, go to the staff portal. Go get them, Tiger. Click IT support. You're doing great. Then select SSRP. You got this. You'll now have some options to choose from. I love options. You can choose register your account or I forgot my password and I've registered. Or, I wanna change my password, but I know my password. Or, I forgot my password, and I have not registered. So now you can... Turn it on, I'll set it, and... Forget it! Right. Well, that's it for today's weekly upgrade. Thank you for subscribing, for viewing, and for all that you do to make the OCDSB that much better. Have an amazing day, everyone.